Hi everyone, welcome to the next section of this lesson which is creating and managing Ansible variables. In the previous lesson we created um, Ansible we created Ansible variables where we uh, installed these three different packages which are the httpd, firewalldy and the autofs packages. So we're going to move this exercise forward by updating the playbook to start and enable the httpd, firewalldy and the autofs packages. So you would notice that um, we created the my third playbook.yml file and um, if you look at this playbook um, let's let's even first of all see if the autofs packages are, are actually um, enabled and started. So if I do systemctl status autofs you can see that it is not started and it is not um it is inactive here and it is also disabled you can see these two as well and if you check that on the hqs dev one it should also be the same thing let's confirm that Right, you can see that this service too is inactive and it is also disabled and that's why you are seeing the return code to be three so what we want to do now is to use our playbook to start and enable the services um just just the same way we created them in the previous lesson and to do that we can edit our playbook as follows so this is going to be the my third playbook the yml and in the variable section, I'm also going to include this as variables. So here, I'm going to be having um, HTTPD. I can give it any name. So I can just say HTTPD service. And this is going to be HTTPD. And I can also say firewall service. This is going to be firewall D, and I can also say auto FS service, and this is going to be auto FS. So you can see that you can see the um, the indentation level here. This is still among the packages. This is under VAS, which is the variables. This is the um, VAX keyword, which is the variable. And the variables we have on the VAS, we have the variable name called packages. And on the packages, these are the um, variables we have. And also, we have a variable name called the HTTP service, and this is the HTTP variable. We have um, the firewall this service. So these are just um, under the. This is this is these are under the VAS keyword. I just want you to take note of the indentation level. So this is fine, and now we can save this file. Before we save the file, we also need to ask the we also need to add the task that is referencing those variables. So here I'm going to have um the other task which is going to I'm going to give it a task name. This is going to be a name here. So I can say start and enable httpd service so the service module would help us to do this and the argument here is going to be the variable so i'm going to reference the variable name so this is going to be HTTPD service, which is the variable name. And I'm also going to use the enabled argument, which is true. And the state, I'm going to say started. So I want to make sure that this service is started and enabled. 
So the third task is going to be, I'm going to give it a, a task name. So I'm going to say start and enable firewall service. I'm also going to use the service module to do this. And the name here is going to be firewall service oops i need to close the bracket here and here i'm going to have the um state whichever one can come first it's fine enabled true state started and for the for the other task for the next task i'm going to give it a, a um, name which is start and enable auto fs the service mode is going to help me to do this as well and the name argument is going to be here we're going to have um, the variable name which is auto fs service and here this is service this is um lower case and here we're also going to have the state argument started enabled like i said anyone can come before anyone enabled equals true okay so this is fine let's save this file oops this is true and then we can do our, our playbook sentence check which is ansible playbook my third syntax check so this is fine and then let us run our playbook like i have always told you that um playbook is highly important and that's that's made um ansible one of the uh, most used software because of the highly importancy so uh, that means changes will only be made if it has not been made before so let's run this playbook and here now we're deploying our solution. Yeah. All right. So the packages are being installed. Of course, it's been installed before, so we should have the green color here. So that's green. Start and enable HTTPS. HTTP rather. So the HTTP is only started and enabled on local host. Apparently, it's been started and enabled on HQS Dev 1.technic before. So here, it's been it's been also started and enabled on these two nodes before, and that's why it's green. And now, this is start and enable auto FS. So this services has been started and enabled on both nodes, which is this. And you can see the play recap. So this is fine. And now you can confirm, like we did um, before. On this node, let's confirm if the AutoFS service is started and enabled. And which is true, you can see now that it is started and enabled. It is yellow and the return code is zero. And also, if you also try that here on the local node, which is um, system CTO status AutoFS. So you can see that the AutoFS package is active, it's running, it's started. And now enabled. Moving this example forward, let's add another variable called the firewall rule. This is my thought. So I'm just going to add another variable called um, firewall rule. I'm just going to put it here. And this is going to be HTTPS. 
let's also add another task and this task is going to use the copy module so here i'm going to have um the name of the task So the name will be copy a basic website content to test. I'm going to be using the copy module to do to do this. I'm going to be having the content argument. So the content I want to copy is um, hello world. to this destination html index.html what we can also do is to uh, make sure that these packages are updated to date um, so i can just use the state i can say latest so latest um, the latest word means that all the packages are going to be updated. All the packages in this variable are going to be updated to the latest. So I can remove this firewall rule. I wanted to use this before, but um, I think I'll just do that in the next lesson. So I can I can remove it and I can leave it. Don't worry, let's leave it. Anytime we need it, we're going to use it. Let's save this file. And do a playbook synthesis check. So that's Ansible HQS. No, this is not what I'm looking for. Okay. So this is fine. Now let's run the playbook. I'm just going to pause this video and when it's done I'm going to resume because I don't want it to be um, so long. So we have one field task and what could that be? Um, let's see. So on the install packages task we have fatal on localhost field to download metadata for blah 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 and here field equals one so what happened was my internet because i'm using the repository online and my internet got exhausted so if in fact this is this is a very good um um good time my internet got exhausted so you can see what it means when a task fails and you, you should be able to know why the task failed you can even see it like saying fail to download metadata for repo for this repo so this is a repository thing this is an internet thing and that's why I'm seeing the record, the um, return code, which is one. So this has filled. So it's actually a good timing here. My internet got exhausted. If I run this playbook again, let's see. Now that I have um, active internet, we shouldn't see any field task. So let's watch and see again. So now you can see that I don't have any field task like I told you. Yeah, this is a good way to know how to troubleshoot. You can see that everything is all green. It's green all the way down. And here, um, there is no full task. And we can see that um, this, yeah, you, know, you might be expecting this to be green as well. Uh, but then there are some tasks, you know, there's, there are some tasks that they just kept, they just keep rather repeating themselves. And this is the exam this is an example of such task which is copy a basic website content to a test. So it just keeps copying it. And that's why you're seeing the yellow color. And it's it just keeps copying that content. So that's why you're also seeing a yellow color. Okay. Let's take this example forward one more step. So what we're going to do is to um, do a test from the local server using the URI module to see if the HTTP package was successfully deployed on hqsdevon.technic.com so I will going to edit the playbook again and this is going to be my third playbook 
So we're going to add another play to do this. Of course, we need to add another play. So here I'm going to be having I'm going to be having a second play. And I'm going to say test if HTTPD was successfully deployed on which host this is going to be on hqs dev1.technic.com and the task is going to be verify if the web content is accessible so we're going to use the URI module to do this and we're going to say URL the argument HTTP HQS the one but technic.com and the return content so we wanted to return this content which is yes and the status code here will be 200 So let's save this playbook. And let's do a playbook syntax check. And let's run the playbook. So I'm going to pause this video. And when it's done, I'm going to play it again. So this is done. And we all we have been all the way down you can see that it's been verified that the web content is accessible what you can also do is to do to use the you can also use the call command as well if you want to verify the the content that was copied into that index.html file just to see if it's accessible or not so i can do call http hqs dev onetechnicom So you can see hello world here. So this is good, this is fine. And uh, by doing this, to an extent, we've been able to automate the installation of the HTTPD service. So in the next lesson, we're going to look at how to define Ansible variables outside of the Ansible playbook. Because what we've done so far is to define the variables inside of the Ansible playbook. And we're going to look how to do this outside of the playbook in the next lesson. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to please subscribe, share, like, comment. You know, when you do this, you're going to help us to do more. You're going to encourage us and we will really appreciate it. Thank you once more and bye for now.